Hey, Mimi. Hey, how was your first day at school? It was okay. You? Full of mystery. Okay. Remember how I sent everyone postcards from our Wisconsin trip this summer? Oh, yeah. That was really thoughtful and so unexpected. I mean, no one sends postcards anymore. The funny thing is, when I got home, I realized I'd totally forgotten to send one to Leo. But when I saw him today, he was like, thanks for the postcard. Isn't that so weird? Do you think he was being sarcastic? <laughs> what? Why would he be sarcastic? Oh, hi, guys. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Leo. Hi, Gabe. Hi, Gabe. That was ice cold right there. Wait, do you think he's mad at me? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Mimi, two things. First, we want to thank you for the postcards you sent us. They were a beautiful gesture and very retro cool. And second, why would you go out of your way to exclude Leo? I didn't mean to. You've heard him, Mimi. More than anyone has hurt anybody Ever. Over a postcard? More than anyone has ever heard anybody ever! Gabe, Leo's turning everyone against me! I know, look, he even put your name on the official diss list. Diss list? Since when is there a diss list? There's always a diss list, Mimi. Hey, Gabe, why are you hanging with Captain Excluder Pants? Leo, why are you so mad at me? You want to know why? I'll tell you why. Because I spent all summer hearing about everyone getting a postcard from Mimi. And week after week, I thought to myself, next week. Next week will be the week that she finally sends a postcard to Leo. But that week never came. I didn't mean to exclude you. No, I just wasn't important enough for you to remember, was I? Come on, Leo, she really is sorry. Why are you taking her side, Gabe? I'm not taking sides. Will you please just forgive me? It's not that easy, Mimi. No one said forgiving people was easy. Was it easy for my little brother to forgive me when I forgot him at the bus stop? Sorry, Mr. Trashcan. I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Or when Mimi forgot me on her hiking trip. Mimi! Hello? Man, I need to start writing stuff down. Leo, holding a grudge doesn't help anything, and it hurts everyone. So would you please forgive her? I'm just not ready to. I don't want to say I forgive you and not mean it. Apology accepted. Phew, now things can finally get back to normal. Or at least somewhat back to normal. Or starting to think about getting back to normal. Right, baby, this is it. You're gonna clean this pipe organ like it's your job, because it is. And afterwards, you get a free pass to Funtopia, the greatest amusement park in the history of humanity. Don't think about how much work it will be. Think about the amusement park. Hey, Ruby, I'm here to help clean the pipe organ. Well, I'm almost done, so... Oh, so you've already cleaned inside the pipes? Inside the pipes? <laughs> okay, I'm going to start screaming now. <gasps>
already done, Mimi. Yep, looks great. Pastor Pete wanted you to have these. <gasps> Look, an all-day pass to Funtopia. I know. I got one, too. <laughs> Why? What did you do? It was a reward for bringing you your reward. Well, I did most of the work, so he must have left something really great for me. For her hard work and dedication, we present Ruby with a lifetime pass to Funtopia. And a new car! Let's see. A one-day pass to Funtopia? But I did so much more. Well, like Pastor Pete said today, the last shall be made first, and the first shall be made last. What does that even mean? I don't know. Something about all of us getting to go to Funtopia. Come on! This just doesn't seem right. <laughs> I hereby call this meeting of the Junior Church Volunteer Brigade to order. We're going to help improve this town so much that no one will recognize it. Of course, then we're going to have to help everyone find their homes. Our first project is doing lawn work for any senior citizen who signs up on this sheet. We'll meet back here at 7 a.m. Let's make a difference, team. Leo, you didn't come to the volunteer meeting. I'm too busy for that self-important volunteer stuff. But what we're doing is super important. We're basically saving the world. Don't you want to save the world with us? Thinking that one can save the world is as impractical as it is unrealistic. Sounds like a no to me. Come on, guys. Is that the sign-up sheet? Um, how long is this going to take? Bring, 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 bring. Oh, sorry, that's my phone. Gotta check this text. Oh, no. It looks like I'm supposed to have my tonsils out today. You didn't know you were getting your tonsils out today? Gotta go. Help lots of senior citizens, though. Better not have tonsils the next time we see her. even going to use this stuff. It's all covered in rust. Hope you've had your tetanus shot. I haven't. You haven't? No, I... I haven't. Um, I have to go now so that I can help. Gabe? Later. Gabe! Where's the bus? We told the driver to be here at 7.15 to take us to our first lawn. Dear Junior Church Volunteer Brigade, I'm sorry to do this, but I'm not coming. I have a lot going on in my life right now. Sincerely, the bus driver. Seriously? He was the only one getting paid for this! Oh, hi Mimi. How's saving the world going? Not good. Everyone bailed on me. I can't do this on my own. I have to make clones of myself and that's just too controversial. Those poor seniors. Their lawns are gonna be so overgrown. <sighs> You know what, Mimi? How about I give you a hand? Really? But I thought you were too busy. You changed my mind. I did? You really care about the people you're trying to help, and that's inspiring. Besides, this will give me a chance to try out my latest invention. Whoa! I call it the Lone Master 5000. How about? to Sunday school ever. I know. Why would all those people want to get rid of Jesus? I was talking about the snacks. It's hard to believe that anyone would reject someone as amazing as Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who puts radishes in yogurt? What are you talking about? I don't know. Hey, that reminds me. Has anyone met the new kid? Who's this? You're talking about Bert. Oh, yeah. He's a total bully. Bert the bully. Oh, that's cute. Cute is not the word I'd use to describe him. He's huge. He's like six feet tall. And he already has to shave. Whoa, really? And he's got all these scars. And an eye patch. And a kitten named Herman. 
You know what I heard? I heard he breaks into other people's lockers at school. I heard that he kicked over Mr. Cooper's trash cans. I heard he collects knives. I heard he sends inappropriate text messages. I heard that the house he lives in is haunted and that even the ghosts are scared of him. <laughs> I heard that he makes flower arrangements. Where did you hear that? I don't know. Where did you guys hear any of this? Only from everyone. Yeah, it's all over school. Guys? Have any of you even met Bert? No. Uh, guys? Then how do you even know if it's true? Look, I'm telling you, this Bert guy is a total menace. Guys? <gasps> I think that's Bert. Oh. Hey guys, why did you want to meet in the church cemetery? Because we can't be seen with you anymore. What? Why? Because you've been hanging out with Bert. So? So, it's Bert. We are never going to hear the end of it at school. Who cares what they think? I like Bert. He's a good guy. Wait, you aren't going to start bringing him to church, are you? Why wouldn't I? Church is supposed to be a safe, welcoming place. I don't want Bert waltzing in there and scaring my grandma. Can you even hear yourselves right now? Look, Leo, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to socially distance ourselves from you for the time being. You know, until this whole thing blows over. If it ever does. Radishes and yogurt. Ready for the youth locket of the century? Someone has high expectations. I don't. Come on, this is gonna be great. Totally cut off from society, live music, flashlight tag, and pizza. Pizza Leo at church? Hey, gang. Hey, Roxanne. Hey, Roxanne. Hey, Roxanne. Hi. I'm your activity coordinator, and I hope you're ready to have a wild and crazy fellowship and praise night. Now for food tonight, we have budget for three one-topping pizzas. However, we all know the unwritten rule that in the event of a pizza party, there will always be at least one cheese and one pepperoni pizza, regardless of personal taste. Aww. I know, I know, I don't make the rules. Your mission is to agree on what the topping of that third pizza will be. I'll be placing the order in five minutes, so if I don't hear from you by then, I'll order whatever pasta Donna wants, and I've heard she's into artichokes. <laughs> okay, let's have a blast tonight! What does everyone want? Hey, look, a tumbleweed! Okay, on the count of three, everyone say what they want. One, two... Wait! You know what? It really doesn't matter what anyone else wants. I'm the most picky person here, so it'll have to be what I want. And I want mushrooms. Ruby, you can't dictate what everyone else eats. Just watch me. Wait, where's she going? <gasps> She's going to tell Roxy we agreed on mushrooms. What? What are you doing? We're fighting over pizza! She started it with her fashion time in demand like dumb pizza coffee! Hey, hey, hey! We're supposed to be having fun tonight! Church is about encouraging one another, not tearing each other down with petty arguments! 
We're supposed to be rejoicing in the Lord and rejoicing in each other. Now clean up these totaled motorcycles before Pastor Donna sees them. She's right. Let's sing! Rejoice in the Lord always again, I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice again. Everybody, thanks for chaperoning the Halloween party for the little kids. Pastor Donna left me some special instructions. Give the kids a great Halloween party. Make sure they are safe and have fun. And remember to let Gabe be in charge. What? No, I'm in charge. Pastor Pete gave me special instructions. Which were? Give the kids a great party and make sure they are safe and have fun. I'm confused about who's in charge. I, I am. am. Okay. Hmm. Warmer? Warmer? Awfully sharp pen, Mimi. Better switch to masking tape. But masking tape is the joke of the adhesive world. And no more blindfolds, they'll break their necks. <sighs> Bert, what are you doing? I know you enjoy upsetting people, but you can't use the word Halloween. Someone might get offended. Really? But and you certainly can't use the word toss. That implies throwing things, which would be utter chaos. Redo the whole sign. Leo, you're filling that apple-bobbing tank too full. It could be a drowning hazard. The water is four inches deep. I'd be more comfortable if you lowered it to one inch. But the apples won't float. Whoa, whoa, Leo! The water is way too low. The kids could scrape their faces against the bottom. But... Just fill it. <sighs> That's an order. Hmm. Hey, Gabe. We're going home. But you just got here. I know, but we're all bored out of our minds. You can't be bored. I order you to stop being bored. Boring. Hey, gang. Need some help? I'm in charge, Roxy. Just because you're in high school doesn't mean you could take over. You're not in charge. My note from Pastor Donna clearly states, let Gabe be in charge. Um, this says let God be in charge. Obviously, that's a typo. Let God be in charge? What's that even mean? It means that you're supposed to open your hearts and let God lead you to serve others. Maybe if you focused on who this party is for, it wouldn't be so lame. Our party is lame? Our party's not lame. Look around, Ruby. You win! Oh, nope, not yet. Oh, yeah, you win! Nope, okay, one more time. Oh, there it is, you win! Nope. Oh, oh, I did it! I won! I won! <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, it's lame. I won again! <laughs> Happy birthday, Ruby! Don't remind me. Well, what's wrong? Don't you like your birthday? I used to love my birthday, but this year after we had cake, my parents said I was old enough to have some new rules around the house. Rules! For me! What kind of rules? Clean your room, Ruby. You have to donate to charity, Ruby. I even have to take care of my own ponies. You have ponies? Like multiple live ponies? Yeah, but only like four of them. Mimi? Nope. She's thinking about ponies. Ponies. I shouldn't have to do any of that stuff. I'm a princess. Ruby, I'll come over today and help you with the stuff you have to do, like take care of the ponies. Really? Uh, of course. You're my best friend after all. I did not know that. <gasps> ponies. <laughs> so that was the tour of my house. In under two hours. Huh, new record. I didn't notice any ponies on the tour. I'd love to meet them and pet them and feed them carrots and read them books and... We could go riding, too. <gasps> 
but we can't ride them until my room is clean. Another new rule. Right. So, where do we start? Uh, do you have a shovel? Um, what's the problem? Where do these go? Probably in the clothes hamper. Now what? Whew, this is gonna take a while. you have to do? Uh, I have to pick out some of my clothes and stuff to donate. Why do my parents hate me so much? Oh, they don't hate you. Then why did they make all these rules telling me what I have to do? Well, my hamster told me that our parents make us do things like clean our rooms so we're able to do things for ourselves and so then we can help others because they love us and want us to spread our love to others. What about what I want? It's not about that. Your hamster told you this? It might have been my grandma. Anyhow, it's all about loving and taking care of one another and one another's ponies. Ponies? <gasps> Where? <sighs> Out back in the stable. <laughs> so this is love. <sighs> Something tells me this is not going to get any easier. <laughs> Tractor. Uh, I can't believe we have to go camping. You aren't excited about our camping crusaders trip? Um, you do know the whole thing's gonna be outside, right? Wait, is that Chet? He's taking us camping? Hello, camping crusaders. I'm Chet. I, and my mom, will be your guide in the harsh and unforgiving wilderness that is Glenview Park. I, and my mom, have been entrusted as your guide. And I am determined to have everyone come back alive this time. Wait, what? Your survival depends on being focused, dedicated, and prepared. What's the Camping Crusaders motto? Prepare, Prepare to, to encounter, encounter God! Encounter God. Now, it's your responsibility to bring everything on this list of vital equipment and supplies. Are there any questions? Would well, you say your eyes are blue or more of a grayish blue? Any relevant questions? Then I'll see you at 0700. Crash tractor. Hey guys. Where have you been? I overslept. I was up late trying to beat the last level of Crash Tractor. Gabe, nice of you to join us. Okay, everyone, let's cook lunch. Great, what are we having? Whatever you brought for rations. Rations? Whoa. It was the first thing on the list. List? You didn't bring your rations. Mm, no. Well, go see if you can find some edible roots or berries, then. Can't we just share food? What if no one remembered food, Gabe? You can't just rely on someone else being prepared. Hey, Gabe, did you find something to eat? I found some tree bark and some grass. That's edible, right? Edible, yes. Nourishing, no. Gabe, you'd better get your tent up. It's supposed to rain tonight. My tent. Right. My tent. Gabe, are you joining us for our morning hike? Gabe, why are you wearing a bush? My clothes are soaked. And I do not have extra pants. You've been having a rough time out here, Gabe. What is the point of all this? It's so lame. Do you remember why the Camping Crusader's motto is prepared to encounter God? Something about God being in nature or whatever. If we're unprepared when God calls us into action, then we've lost sight of what it means to be a Christian. Do you understand? <sighs> I think so. I just have one more question. Can I please borrow some toilet paper? Well, I seem to remember you packed your crash tractor strategy guide. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. 
straight. The Sunday school kids are doing a canned food drive for the food shelf? Yep. We're drawing slips of paper to see what team we're on. Teams? I love teams! It's just a friendly competition to see which group can get the most cans. The winners get an ice cream cake. I'm team two. Team one. Team two! Team one. And I declare myself team leader of team one, if that's all right with you, Leo. Would it matter if it wasn't? Not really. Serve me well and you will receive much ice cream cake. Team one, fall in! This is already getting out of hand, isn't it? <gasps> oh, I hope so. Come on, let's join up with the rest of team two. Look upon your leader, team one. Your leader promises you one thing, that we will dominate team two in this canned food drive. And then there will be ice cream cake! Hoo-ah! Hoo-ah. Well, what should we do? Ooh, puppet show! Puppet show! Yeah! We should probably collect cans first. We could make a list of everyone we know and then go ask them for cans. That's a crazy good idea! I vote for Gabe to be our leader! Yay! Yay! Yes! Stack that right side higher! Higher! <sighs> All right, let's get it to the food shelf. Oh, hey, Jax, can you give us a hand? Hello? Oh, hey, Mimi. You're already at the food shelf, but that's like 20 blocks away. Okay, see you when you get back. <laughs> More cans! More cans! Hey, everyone. Hey, guys. How many cans did you turn into the food shelf? Well, none. We've just been piling them up here. Really? Well, the food shelf closed half an hour ago. No kidding. It appears as if Her Excellency has forgotten the entire point of the food drive. Hey, do you all want some of our ice cream cake? You know what? I would yeah! like some. Thank you. That's very really nice of you. Oh, yeah, That's cake. So nice. Absolutely. <laughs> Hello! Your little stuff! Is there any ice cream cake left? How am I going to get down from here?